Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. Today I'm going to be doing a follow-up Trader Joe's haul. I'm Jess, I love all things fitness, healthy lifestyle, and activewear. If you like those things too, definitely subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. So I recently did a Trader Joe's haul and it seemed like people really enjoyed it and I can't stop going back and getting more pumpkin things. Like, I don't know if they're just getting more in or if I'm just noticing more because I have actually, I'm so lucky. I live right between two Trader Joe's. So I feel like maybe different stuff is sticking out. So today I have, I actually went in for some um, dessert things. These chocolate bars are amazing. I got a milk chocolate and a dark chocolate with hazelnuts. And I also got this kombucha golden pineapple. But first pumpkin thing that I got, these pumpkin spice pretzel slims it says with crushed pumpkin spice pumpkin seeds i don't know i've i love the slims that are in the holiday time with the peppermint they are amazing it's like covered in white chocolate and then it has peppermint on top they're delicious so i grabbed these even though i really don't need like this many snacky things like with the chocolate bar i'll just have like a square after dinner it's like pretty like that's okay but those slams they're addictive all right i forget if i got this last time but the pumpkin spice coffee is really really good and it's limited edition you can only get it around this time so i figured i'd pick up a second one because i've already like used maybe half of my original one um then i got oh my gosh pumpkin chocolate chunk oatmeal cookies what Normally they have these really good almond flour cookie mix things. So normally I've gotten those a few times. I don't make cookies that often, but um, if I'm gonna eat a cookie, like I want a warm gooey cookie that's straight out of the oven. You know what I'm saying? Like then it's worth it. So I don't know. I saw this and I was like, heck yeah, I need it. Um, I also heard that this autumn maple coffee was really good so I figured I would grab that because again like it's just a fall time item um it is a light roast which I tend to like darker but I don't know why not oh my god this item is not that exciting but the reason I bought it is incredibly exciting if you love Francis Floyd, you're gonna die because we are meeting up in real life for the first time on Saturday. I am so excited. We are going for a hike and so she was, we were like messaging back and forth like should we bring a lunch? Should we go out to lunch after? And so we're probably gonna go out to lunch after the hike but she said we should bring trail snacks and she remembered my video where I showed all my trail snacks. So I specifically got these almond cranberry cashew trek mix bags because this was one of the snacks in that video for me and Francis when we go on our hike together. So if you love Francis Floyd, stay tuned because probably this video will probably go up before our hike video, most likely. So get excited, like, ah! Um, I also got these milk chocolate and honey toffee pecans. I also got more of these cheese bites that I always get. And, oh, we're getting to the bottom. These chocolate peanut butter mochi are incredible. And then the, wait, nope, there's two more things. Oh, the hold the cones. So I loved I loved the pumpkin ones, but we don't have a lot of room in our freezer, and I really, really wanted chocolate chip, but the pumpkin ones are so good, and I tasted tested them in my last video, and they literally taste like pumpkin pie. But I don't know, I just really wanted the chocolate chip this time, but I definitely recommend the pumpkin ones. And the last thing, this looks so fun, pumpkin empanadas. I love empanadas so much delicately spiced pumpkin filling in a traditional flaky pastry. So I'm so excited. I also got, there's a couple more things that I think I didn't get the last time that I've gotten in between more pumpkin things. So if there's any other pumpkin things that I didn't show in my last haul that I have inside, I will let you know. And I'm definitely gonna taste test some of these items for you over the next couple days. You better believe I'm gonna make these cookies and taste test them. So stay tuned in this video. Um, as the 
things come up, I'll just tell you what I'm actually taste testing. So if you saw a banner that says taste test, then you know, taste test coming at ya. <laughs> Oops, you missed the rip. I'm going to try the pumpkin spice pretzel slims right now. I haven't even made it in the house yet. Oh, it's so pumpkin-y. Okay, check out the detail. Look at that, little stripes. And then, I don't know. Hmm. That's so interesting. It's like sweet and savory at the same time because that pumpkin flavor, like the spice, is almost savory. Like, do you know what I'm saying? And probably like the pretzel inside is like salty. That was really good though. More pumpkin. Pumpkin spice pretzels. Autumn coffee. Pumpkin spice coffee. Butternut squash. Trangioli ravioli. Pumpkin chunk of chunk oatmeal cookies. Pumpkin empanadas. Pumpkin spice protein smoothie. Pumpkin rolls. Look at these. Yeah. Pumpkin spice protein smoothie. These are amazing. I buy these all the time. So good. Yum. Well, I was wrong because we just premiered Francis and my videos today. So they're up. So I will link my video with Francis and Francis' video with me down below. But I'm doing yet another taste test from Trader Joe's from the stuff that I bought. So let's see what I'm trying today. We are preparing butternut squash ravioli. So my favorite way is really simple with olive oil, basil, tomatoes. You can do some fresh mozzarella or some Parmesan cheese. All right, so I got everything ready. Water is boiling. The finished product. <laughs> mm -hmm. So good. You should probably cut it, but you know, I just went for it. I'm also going to make these pumpkin chocolate chip oatmeal cookies, so I am putting out a stick of butter to thaw. We are making the pumpkin chocolate chip oatmeal cookies. I only want to make half because it makes two dozen and that's ridiculous. So I try my best to split it in half. I hope it works out. It's either going to work out or it's not. There they are. Taste test moment of truth. Very pumpkin-y. Very spicy. Very pumpkin spice. Mm. It is Sunday morning, so I'm gonna make the pumpkin rolls. So I'm heating up the oven, I'm gonna get those ready and pop them right in. So it says to do it on a baking sheet, but I normally do them like rolls in like a thing like this. Is that a bad idea? Opa! All right, there they are. Pumpkin roll taste test time. Ooh. Not very pumpkin-y to me. 
Like it's just like a sweet roll. Right. It's good. Tastes a lot like a cinnamon roll with like a pinch of pumpkin spice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't hate it. No. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, it's good. So here is the honey roasted pumpkin ravioli and the autumnal harvest creamy pasta sauce. Here is our ravioli. I just put some Parmesan cheese on top. That is the whole package. So I'll probably just eat about half and then just saran wrap it and throw it in the fridge. All right, we're diving in. That is so good. Oh, wow. Ooh. And it's funny, there's like a little hint of sweet, but then it's also savory. Yum. If you're a pumpkin fanatic, you definitely need this. It's time for a beverage taste test. Here I have the Bantam Ginger Beer and the Trader Joe's Pumpkin Pie Spice Ginger Brew. So the Bantam is alcoholic, whereas the Trader Joe's is non-alcoholic, so pick your poison. Um, so I have poured a little bit in each glass. So first I'm trying the Ginger Brew, no, Ginger Beer. Okay. There is not a pumpkin pie flavor to that, just so you know. Mm. The Trader Joe's, like, you can smell it as you put your nose in the glass. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right, I like this better, the um, Trader Joe's pumpkin pie. It's definitely a little bit sweeter. Um, they both contain sugar, and they're similar in calories, so the Bantam Cider is 150 calories. It has ginger root, brown sugar, water, spices, and citrus juice. This is 140 calories per serving. Carbonated water, apple juice concentrate, cane sugar, ginger puree, and spices. So very similar ingredients. Obviously the Bantam has alcohol, so I usually don't drink alcohol. I would prefer the non-alcoholic, which is why I happen to buy this. Um, so I would pick the Trader Joe's. And I've also had their ginger brew before, and that was really good. But if you're looking for like a gingery treat, you may enjoy one of these. I'm gonna cook these pumpkin empanadas because I love empanadas. So I'm gonna cook them in the toaster oven. We'll see how it goes. Pumpkin empanadas came out pretty good. Time for the taste test. Now, I thought I still had the autumn salsa, which would have been perfect, but it turns out I do not. It was a very small jar, so I must have finished it. Um, but we're gonna try it without first, obviously. Obviously. I hope I don't burn myself. Mm. Pumpkin-y. I might have been able to cook them a little bit longer. They're not as crispy as I was expecting. But maybe they don't get crispy. I don't really know. That is some pumpkin-y goodness in there. If you're really into pumpkin, you would really love these for sure. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely check out my other Trader Joe's haul if you're interested in seeing more of the Trader Joe's pumpkin items that I tried on my last shopping haul. I will link that video down below for you. Definitely stay tuned for my hiking video with Francis Floyd and definitely subscribe because some of you out there are not subscribed yet. What are you doing? Stick around. So I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video super soon. Have a great day. Stay positive. Bye.